so what's in your wallet? I guess I had to know that we're right. I guess I'll get sued by Samuel L. Jackson. Oh well, whatever. I'm actually not going to ask you what's in your wallet. I meant what's in your backpack. Well, to be exact, what calculator is in your backpack? That's the question. And do you know how to use it? Here are the two that I use. Those are not pictures of mine in particular. I just got them off the internet. But those are the two that I've got basically. In fact, the one on the right, the TI Inspire CX, my version is a CX2, so it does an II at the end. Anyway, I want to show you how to do a certain task on both those calculators. So, what we're interested in is first of all the TI-84 plus CE. That's one of my calculators, but you can do basically the same thing with the TI-83 or one of the earlier TI-84s. The idea here is to get some random integers using it, and to do that you're going to use the rand int function that stands for random integer and you need two or three parameters that's the numbers you tell the calculator first of all you tell the calculator which integer is the lowest one you want it to use then you tell it which is the largest number you want to use the integer that is and then if you want to do more than one number get more than one number how many of those do you actually want? So here's how you do it. By the way, you can leave out the last one if you only want one. You don't need to put a one there if it's only one. It's a little bit of a shortcut. So, if you want to create a random sample of four images, and you want the smallest integer, integer to be possibly a 2 and the largest one to possibly be a 9. Press the math key. Move over to the PRB which stands for probability. Choose option number 5. You don't have to cursor down hit the enter. You can just hit the number 5. Pop. Done. Hit the enter. Type the 2. The comma which is in the lower left on your calculator. Type in a 9, another comma, a 4, and if you're nice to your calculator, put in a right parenthesis. If you don't, it's actually going to be smart enough to assume that you did want one there. Then you press the enter. And you'll get something like this. You can see the function on the top in that green square. And on the second line, you can see the four numbers that this particular time came up. Now, it could be something a little bit different if you do the same thing again. In fact, if you cursor up with your calculator, highlight that random function again, hit enter again, you'll get four different numbers. Well, maybe four numbers anyway. They most likely will not be the same ones. Now, notice that you got two nines this time. That can happen. If you really wanted four integers that were different, what you might want to do is put two, comma, nine, comma, and then maybe put a five or a six there, and then just take the first four different integers that you see in your results, and then, then you'll be set. So if you've got a TI-83 or 4, this is how you do it. If, on the other hand, you have a TI-Inspire. In fact, this will work with any TI-Inspire, even if you have one of the old ones. They're a nice medium blue. Anyway, the way you do that, you want to use the random function just as in the TI-84 plus CE. Hit the menu function, and that's in the top right. Once you hit that, hit a 5 for the probability group of functions, and a 4 to get the random function, and then a 2 to pick random, just as you did on the other calculator. 
or would have done on the other calculator. Now, you'll be inside the red if function, so you put the smallest number you wanted to choose from, and the largest number you wanted to choose from, and how many numbers you wanted to pick. Remember, the same thing goes for the last one. If you want to make sure that you got four different integers, random integers, make that last number one or two more than how many you actually want. And then just choose from your list the different ones. Throw out the duplicates and you're in business. And just as in the other one, if you follow there, if you only want one random integer, you don't need to put in the third forever. Here, we've got just a slightly different version, but it's actually doing the same thing. I made up both those, and I couldn't decide between the two of them, so I figured I'll just leave them both, and you can pick whichever format you like. And that's it for now. See you again in Chapter 2 and Coaching Class. Bye.